Hello and welcome to another tutorial for our hell scene. This time we will create the shader for the hell ground. The ground is crisscrossed with lava cracks. The entire shader looks like this. We start at the end with a crack pattern. You can find several tutorials here on YouTube how to create cracks in Blender. This is one version. The heart of the pattern is the Voronoi texture with a setting distance to edge. Without the distortion the pattern looks like this and the Voronoi texture looks like this. The idea is to use the black lines as lava cracks and the white areas for the black soil. The color ramp refines the black lines. The back slider remains on position 0 and the white slider is at 0.004. The noise texture and the mix node generate the random pattern for the texture coordinates. Since only the black lines are visible, you can see the distortion here. I chose scale 10 and detail 16. The mix factor controls the amount of the distortion. 1 means no distortion and 0 means total chaos. Next we take a look at the lava pattern. In the overview, at the beginning of the video, you could have seen additional nodes in this node group. I removed them because they had little to no effect for the result. For the pattern I used a Musgrave texture with scale 10 and detail 16 and dimension 0.1. I tweaked the value with a color ramp, but it has little effect. The pattern controls the mix shader. The input from the left is the black soil. The lower input is the emission shader. The strength value is enhanced by the math node with operation power and base 20. The pattern looks like this and the crack pattern only shows the lava pattern inside the cracks. The black soil is the PBR material Rocky Dirt from textures.com. The upper group scales the material by 100 and the lower group by 500. I adjusted the brightness with a gamma node with value 5. The original material was way too bright for hell. I didn't use the displacement value. In both material I used a magic node group. This node group conceals the repetition effect when we scale textures with high values. You can download a better version of this node group from Blender Guru's channel. The mix between low scale and high scale is controlled by this node group. I hope you can see the effect between the low and high scale. I added a sunlight to make the effect visible. There are regions with visible bump and flat regions in between. The mix pattern looks like this. I used a noise texture with default values and multiplied the factor with 500. This value controls the scale of a Musgrave texture. Detail, dimension and lacunarity are two. The color ramp creates the hard transition between black and white. Since we use the same material, the transition works in this case. If you want to know how to create steam and smoke without a Mantaflow simulation, the following video might be interesting for you.